Taurus, what's going on, my loves? Happy 2024 to you guys. I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you to everyone that's liked, shared, subscribed. If you guys have not subscribed, please do so that you know when I'm here with new content. If the reading resonates with you, please hit the like. I would greatly appreciate it. If anyone needs a personal reading, information is in the box below. Thank you to everyone that took advantage of the discount that I had for the month of December. I'm going to try to do something else uh, for January as well. Towards the end of the month. Okay, let's see what's going on. The Taurus. Spirit says, I need one more card. Thank you. All right. All right, so we got somebody here, Taurus, that's coming up in their ego. So you have someone that's loud. They're boisterous. They like to uh, have all the tension on them. This is a person um, that has a big voice. And when I say a big voice, I mean that they, it sounds like they're yelling sometimes or they laugh really loud or something like that if their voice is not that loud. It's something here. But this person has to have all eyes on them, okay? This stems from them having fears and negative thoughts and feeling uh, like they're alone in the world. So you know what? I got to make myself bigger than I really am. I got to have people look at me. People got to see me, right? Because, you know, when I was a child, and this is childhood energy. When I was a child, I felt like I wasn't seen. So I'm going to do everything as an adult to be seen, okay? Um, I feel like whoever this is, um, <clears throat> they may have a job to where uh, they have to poke their chest out, whether they are uh, masculine or feminine. Um, they have to uh, be out in society, stuff of that nature, okay? But I feel like with this job and with these people that they hang out with, I feel like they've gotten themselves in some nonsense. The energy coming through is that someone's ego here has signed a check that they're behind can't cash, Okay, um, I feel like they were around the wrong people at the wrong times. I feel like they, uh, it says bad influence here, but influence. But what I feel is that somebody here purposefully got themselves involved in some things based on their ego. So in other words, they weren't going to let someone outdo them. Uh, they wanted to look a certain way. You know, there was a facade that needed to be upheld. Here's that mask card that facade that I was talking about, right? Not what they supposed to be, right? This is deception uh, to people. They wanted things to look a certain way, to be a certain way, to feel a certain way, okay? And this caused some sort of disturbance in someone's home. We have uh, disputes, exposure, drama, unexpected changes. This is like a tower card for me. <clears throat> so I feel like the, the universe, God, source, spirit, gave this person multiple chances to make changes in their life. And this person went the opposite way and did something other than what they were called to do each and every time. When this happens, the universe steps in, God's source spirit steps in and says, you know what? I'm going to shake I'm going to shake it up. I'm going to shake shit up because you're not paying attention. And when when that happens, all hell breaks loose, guys. Okay? So I feel like someone here is going through it right now. Whoever's in this Taurus energy. Yep. Thank you, Spirit. And Spirit is saying, you know what? Yeah, they're going to have to find their strength somehow. Because, you know, they called this on themselves. They had multiple chances. Uh, God gave this person multiple chances to make it right and they went against every chance that was given to them this is the disturbance right multiple disputes people angry with them arguments i'm seeing all types of chaos right now okay someone is needing to stand in their strength leo could be significant um but someone is needing to be strong. So let's let's tap in. Let's see what else is going on here, guys.
here. It says just give me two more. Oh, okay. This is somebody that had you in your feelings and had you exhausted, Taurus. <clears throat> wow. Okay. You've blocked this person multiple times because you didn't know whose bed they was in. This is what I'm getting here, right? Exhausted. You're trying to figure out whose mattress they're hopping to, whose mattress they're hopping to, whose home they're in, where they're at. You may have been looking for this person. You may have been trying to figure out what they were up to, what they were doing. Um, like I said, I feel like this person's ego got them into some trouble here. I feel like it could have been that they needed to look a certain way to certain people. And this is why, you know, that ego took over. Because, you know, being as though they was around the bad influences, I feel like they had to, to look a certain way because people were watching. Right? And this caused a betrayal for you. Right? This person betrayed you because they were doing some things that they had no business doing. Um, they was living a lie. Okay, with this mask card, and this caused uh, some nonsense in the union that you had with this person. Yep, you understood that there was some competition going on. They may have went out, they may have been dealing with other people, um, and you may have felt like something was going on. I have mask out here twice. So this person was trying their best to live a life or live a lie that you had no idea about okay and it's causing someone here to win some sort of a court case right so someone here could have took someone to court based on finding out that they were being um unfaithful this could be a marriage that's ended this could be someone getting some sort of um separation but going to meditation uh, uh, i said did i just say meditation mediation excuse me guys i'm tired my bad. Going to mediation, okay? And this could have been somebody saying, you know what? I'm going to sue you if you don't give me X amount of money um, every month for X, Y, and Z. I feel like whoever this is was sharing a home with someone and someone found out that someone was not being faithful as they thought they were. And now they're saying, you know what? Give me all your loot. You owe me. Wow, that genuine song just came in my in my mind. What is it? Shorty pay to, uh hey, what's your price? You back it up. Uh something, something ice. Now you say you owe me something. Pay me back like you owe your rent or something like that. So what what is those words? I, I can't remember the song. It's old. But yeah, that I can hear the music clear as day. Soon as I got this card, it came out that that song. Wow! All right, guys. This person has an issue with commitment. Okay, the issue with commitment is being in a commitment. This person could be in a commitment and does not accept that they are in a commitment and lives their life like they're not in one. And this is the problem. Okay, the issue with the commitment is, yeah, I'm gonna still do what I want to do, whether you want me to do it or not. OK, I'm going to be out here. I'm going to see other people. I'm going to do what I need to do. Uh, I'm going to come home. I'm going to taste you. Stay with me, guys. I'm going to come home. I'm going to taste you. I'm going to go on by my business and I'm going to do what the hell I want to do. And you going to shut up. That's this is the energy that's coming through right here. Somebody thinks they got it like that. This ego is insane. Right. You're just someone I wanted to have sex with. OK, this is a person that says, yeah, and when I'm not making love to you, I do want to. OK, so this started off as something like a friends with benefits type of situation, moved into some sort of relationship. But this person still moves like this is friends with benefits only, even though they're in a situation and they're going to be finding out that they've gotten somebody pregnant or somebody may be finding out that someone just recently had a kid. Yep. Yep. I'm sorry, guys. This person is, is going through it right now. 
not only have do they have multiple people that they're dealing with at once, one of those people has a child. I feel like they have a child with the other person as well that's already here. This is a new baby. Okay, so either this is a person that's pregnant or this is a child that's here that just got here. I'll say within the last six months to a year. The child that they have with someone else is older. Elementary school or middle school age. This person has been living their life like they didn't have a commitment with someone when they knew that they were in a commitment. This is a person that did not tell the truth at any point in time. All right, mischief play fantasy is what they were into, right? May have done a lot of role playing, a lot of uh, um, threesomes, a lot of um, swing parties, stuff of that nature. We have control, empty, submissive, right? This is a person that like to control other people sexually. They like to control, like, so they had people walking around that felt like they had a relationship with this person because they were in something that was strictly sex based but these people felt like it was a relationship okay um i feel like the way that oh, wow i feel like the way the way that this person loves on a person that person gets hooked we're dealing with incubus or succubus type of energy here Spirit has been trying to, to awaken this person. And whoever I am speaking to, Taurus, you may have recently went through an awakening because Spirit is trying to get you away from this energy, right? Because you've been waiting for this person for so many years to come around and do the right thing. And you've been dealing with everything that they've been throwing at you, okay? This is activity, movement, disruption. This person, as they move around and go from person to person to person, all they do is cause chaos right hmm. there's a little bit of spell work here we have two cards of spell work um and a soulmate someone could be doing spell work to control someone because they feel like they don't have their hands on them the way that they would like to um take that how it resonates someone could be trying to make someone commit to them or make someone slow down from the things that they're doing but it's not working Right? Whoever this is that's doing the spell work has been waiting. Mm -hmm. So if this is not you doing spell work, Taurus, this is someone else that this person is dealing with that's trying to do spell work to get them, uh, your person to be with them, dedicated. This is crazy. Spirit says, go to this deck. All right. Yep, we got competition out here twice. So this person has more than one. This person is dealing with more than one. This person is out here doing their numbers, okay? And everybody, the crazy part, may look alike or may have similar features or similar attributes. So this person has a type that they're dealing with. So they, they have a certain type. Hmm. Very feminine is what I'm feeling. Right? Makeup, uh, weave, long fingernails, um, tight dresses for women and for men. I'm feeling like dressed to the nine. Okay? I'm, I'm, this is somebody here um, that dates a certain type of person. When I look and I'm, in, I'm closing my eyes right now. I know you guys can't see me, but with me closing my eyes and feeling this energy, what I'm seeing for men is, is, is if this is a woman that I'm speaking of, she is seeking men that have the, the cut up beard. The beard has to be immaculate. You know what I mean? The haircut has to be immaculate. This person has to be smelling good. He has to be dressed to the nines at all time. And the same thing with the women. Hair has to be a certain length. Dress has to be a certain length. High heels. I'm feeling stilettos. I'm feeling face full of makeup. Eyelashes. 
etc. And this person looks like this, whether they're going to the store or they're going to bed, okay? This person has a type that they deal with and this is what they seek out. And I feel like the people that they find themselves not dealing with as much as the newer people are more plain Jane-ish, are not doing that. I feel, okay, Spirit has given me and this may resonate with someone or or multiple people that you may have dressed a certain way um, when you met this person, when you were courting. But then as the relationship progressed, I feel like someone got more relaxed. Um, someone was more comfortable, etc. May not have been doing all of that. And this person was still seeking out that type of ambiance outside. Okay. They said, you know what? You know, this is what I like. This is what I'm going to go get. But everybody either looks the same or has the same attributes or they like the same things you know, or they're very similar. Um, doppelganger is out here. So that tells me that either people look alike, they dress alike, they act alike or something of that nature. This person absolutely has a type. Okay. Thank you, spirit. So these cards just fell out. We have king of wands. So this is a person that's out here putting it down. All right, this is the energy. This is energy. Look how this person is looking at their wand. Okay, now this is a person that takes care of business. They take care of things that they need to take care of, may have a good job as well, right? But I feel like this person is really wand obsessed. Hmm, really. We have Knight of Swords here, right? So. This person seizes the moment. They like to not miss out on opportunities. And this is the reason why they're dealing with multiple people at once. They feel like, you know what? If somebody's in my face, you know, if something's happening, I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to take this opportunity. Why would I let that pass me by? I'm going to be assertive. I'm going to do what I need to do. I'm going to use my quick wit. I'm going to be direct. I'm, I'm going to, you know, uh, be impulsive. Okay, so they're out here being hasty. Okay, Queen of Swords, right? This is a couple. Okay, so this is someone that you are in a couple with. Uh, absolutely. I feel like this person is, is over here, right? This is this is this is a person over here that um is turning up in one aspect as a king of wands. Okay, so this is a person that's out here swinging, swinging the wand. But, but taking care of business, right? This could be someone that's a leader. Like I said, they may have some sort of job to where they're out in the community. People look up to them, something of that nature. So, right, so they're, they're in some sort of leadership role. But on the other side, they move really hasty like a knight, okay? But the queen is here, the swords, all right? So this is a couple. We got one person um, that is very um, feeling-based, that... that um, I feel like, how do I say this? One person moves quickly. Like I said, they want to, to make sure that they don't miss out on anything. And this means I'm going to hang out with the boys or I'm going to hang out with my girls. I'm going to do what I need to do because I don't want them to do anything that I wasn't a part of. This is the energy that this person is in. But then the queen of, of swords energy is here. Okay. This is a person that's, you know, on their guard because you know they're saying you know i've lost a lot i've i've dealt with a lot with this person um you know i'm i'm one step from cutting them loose i'm one step from cutting them away and i feel like someone has not done it but spirit is saying why haven't you <laughs> got the chariot card in reverse why haven't you This person doesn't have any self-control. This person blocks your obst your uh, your um, blessings, right? With obstacles. In other words, there's been things that have went on in your house with this disturbance card to where you may have missed out on opportunities. I'm not feeling like they put their hands on you or anything of that nature, but I feel like there have been um, things that went on in the home that have caused someone to be so upset that they missed out on opportunities. So take that how it resonates. 
Um, I feel like with the with the chariot card, you guys have not went your own way. You have not went your own way yet. Spirit is saying you need to cut this energy loose and you need to start manifesting a new life for yourself. You need to go towards what is important for you. Okay, like this person here, they're a smooth talker. This person has a gift of gab. You know, they always know what to say to you to get you back on board. But Spirit is saying it's time for you to cut it loose now. You've been through enough. You're, you've been in a spirit of uh, competition. This person has put you in a place of feeling insecure. You know, you've been through a lot in the home. You know for a fact that this person's ego is so so big that they continue to do things that don't make sense or do not support the relationship that you're in. So why are you here? Spirit is wanting you to use your willpower to direct yourself to your free will, to direct yourself to what makes you happy and to direct yourself to manifesting your desires instead of waiting for this person. They no longer want you to wait for this person. They no longer want you sitting around waiting on this. Here it is. It's the card I was looking for. They no longer want you frozen, making your life have delays with the things that you want to get done, the things that you feel would be um, something for your highest good, right? They don't want you no longer longing for this person to do right or to be with you and only you because they're out here doing all this stuff behind your back. Hmm. Aquarius energy is here, guys. Fire sign energy is here too. It's Aries energy. I don't know who who we're talking about um, here, but um, yeah, Cancer energies too. Um, I don't know who we're talking about here, but um, Spirit is wanting you to leave this alone. Okay, my loves. So this is what I have for you. I'm sending you guys the utmost love and light. If anyone needs a personal reading, the information is in the box below. You guys take care. Happy 2024.